Hi, welcome to the virtual open house for Conestoga College. My name is Lori Smith and I'm the coordinator for the primary care paramedic program. The primary care, pro care paramedic program is currently a diploma program delivered over two years at the Dune campus. On this screen or on this slide, you will see my contact information, LA Smith at Conestoga C dot on dot CA. If you have any questions regarding the application process that I'm unable to answer today or is not found on our website, you can contact me at that uh, contact information email address. I have a bit of a presentation I wanna share with you that I hope will provide you with some starting information regarding the profession, as well as how to prepare and apply for the program here at Conestoga College. So you're considering a career in paramedicine let me provide you with a bit of information regarding the profession. 25 years ago, paramedics needed to be certified in first aid, CPR, have a class F license to drive the ambulance and be physically strong to lift their patients to transport them to the hospital where their patients received care. Fast forward to today, paramedics still require these attributes and certifications, however, the scope of practice has significantly increased and changed. Paramedics continue to respond to various types of 911 calls every day. They provide compassionate, knowledgeable, in-depth patient assessments, apply various therapeutic interventions. Basically, they can bring the emergency department to the scene of the 911 call. Paramedics can also be responsible for informing family members that their loved one cannot be resuscitated and that CPR needs to be discontinued with orders from a physician. Episodes of mental health crisis are also events that paramedics can respond to. In all of these situations, paramedics must possess the ability to problem solve, critically think, be resilient, have strong interpersonal communication strategies, all of this in order to determine management and transport strategies to get their patients to the appropriate care as needed. Often a lot of this is done in challenging and often chaotic situations that they face. Paramedics have also become accepted as part of the healthcare interdisciplinary team. As a result, paramedics are found supporting various populations in community settings. Being part of the healthcare team that seeks proactive health plans and functions as a portal to services for patients is steadily increasing as a responsibility for the paramedic profession. Some of our program highlights include our faculty and lab instructors that have many years of paramedic practice experience. They bring this experience with them to the classroom and the labs, <clears throat> excuse me. They draw upon their experiences to present relevant education. Faculty and instructors have varied backgrounds, including primary care paramedic certification, advanced care paramedic certification flight and administration within the emergency medical services system. We have a simulated work environment known as the pre-hospital care lab, thanks to our donors, the Motts family. In this lab, Students are taught using current equipment used by paramedic services. Students are encouraged to use the space to practice becoming competent in practical applications. We also have a program ambulance where students are provided the opportunity to understand the interior compartment and contents, how to deliver care to their simulate, simulated patients in a confined area, and how to drive it. Students are expected to have a G license on entry to the program and are highly recommended to have a class F license by second year in order to be eligible to apply to paramedic job postings for the paramedic services. Other highlights include that our faculty enhance student learning by integrating theory to current paramedic practice. What is taught in a theory class is aligned with curriculum to ensure that students when entering the practical environment have the foundational knowledge to apply their therapeutic management strategies. The paramedic program at Conestoga College uses high fidelity mannequins and standardized patients to support integration of theory and skills. Standardized patients are actors that are hired to present according to script. 
They add the realistic elements to the simulated cases, supporting the students and feeling as though they have responded to a real 911 call. Furthermore, our field placement uh, is a bit of a program highlight for our applicants in that we begin placements beginning in second semester. Uh, we have two local services that support our student placements and both of these services contribute to program feedback uh, as being part of our advisory committee for the college. Over the past five years, graduates have had high success rate in meeting employee employability requirements, and graduates of our program have also seen a 100% success rate on the provincial exam first right over the last five years. So some things to consider when applying for the paramedic program. On our website, we have listed a, a few attributes that are very important for applicants coming into the program. What you need to know is that we are an oversubscribed program. We can have up to 900 applicants for the 42 seats. Knowing what the profession entails is key. There are various Ontario paramedic sites found on the internet that would support you in understanding paramedicine and paramedic delivery in Ontario. Some insight that I can include, and this is also posted again on our website, are important paramedic student attributes, which include the ability to lift, transfer, carry, extricate. This is what paramedics do. It's the job of a paramedic. I can't begin to emphasize how important it is that you, as an applicant, have a high level of physical strength when coming into the program and for maintaining once in the profession. Expectations by week two of the program include lifting 170 pounds with a partner. The program focuses on delivery of safe body mechanics and communication strategies when lifting with a partner. Physical strength when starting the program is likely going to result in program success. Once in the profession, maintaining physicality is important to avoid debilitating injuries resulting in an end to the career choice. Having the ability to effectively communicate with people and possess strong interpersonal skills are keys to success as a student and in the career. Program expectations include these skills from day one, asking a patient awkward personal questions, delegating to other more senior paramedics and partners and emergency medical personnel to ensure safe, effective care is delivered to patients is key for this profession. You need to like people. 9-11 is called when people are in crisis. Despite the situation that you're presented, seeing past the worst in people at these moments is key to providing professional paramedic care. So if you're interested, first step is to apply through OCAS. Once you've applied through OCAS and have met the academic requirements, such as English, math, biology, and chemistry, and you've got an average of 85% within those four courses, you will be invited to submit an e-portfolio to our program. This e-portfolio will capture all the attributes that will support student and professional paramedic success, a lot of which I've previously, I've discussed in the previous slides. We want to ensure that we're setting students up for success, both in the program and in the profession. This slide uh, shows you where you can find a little bit uh, or have a virtual tour of the pre-hospital paramedic lab. Um, so if you were to access the paramedic website, Conestoga College Paramedic Program, up in the right-hand corner of the paramedic program page, you will see tour. If you click on that, it will take you to uh, the paramedic pre-hospital care lab that you can click on in order to see a bit about what our lab looks like. Some frequently asked questions. Uh, I think I've answered that in uh, the previous slide. So we're looking for English, math, biology, and chemistry as prerequisites to our program. We consider 85% average between these four courses. And if you meet the requirements of 85% average, you're invited to submit the e-portfolio to our program. When do students have an opportunity to be placed in the paramedic service? Second semester is, this, is when this begins. Uh, students have an opportunity to do two 12-hour shifts in local paramedic services as observation. 
Uh, and do you have to have your class F license on application? No, certainly by second year, it is uh, most appropriate in order to ensure that you are ready to apply for jobs. For any further information for our program, visit the program webpage at Conestoga College Paramedic Program. I wish you the best of success in applying to the program. It is a rewarding and fabulous career. Thank you.